Before lockdown, if he'd had the stroke a few weeks before, he could have stood a chance. So you you feel lockdown was a mistake, do you? Um, not necessarily, but I do believe that um, they should never have um, stopped treating people properly for medical conditions. Yeah, I mean it's it's just yeah. all so awful. We just were so unprepared, weren't, weren't we? And again, that goes to the government. Yeah, but the, but the government actually, I mean, my dad, even when he was in hospital, said, "I call Boris has had COVID." Uh, but why weren't they scared when, you know, two weeks later he's out of hospital and they're all partying together? Well, why weren't point. they scared of COVID? The parties are a whole other story, that's right. Yeah. Val, thank you. I'm so sorry thank about your dad. You. Oh, thank you. Take care. Jason Bissett is in Angus, Scotland as well. Hello, Jason. Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? I'm well. Do you think this, this inquiry is going to get somewhere? I don't think it's going to get anywhere. I think, you know, these um, WhatsApp messages are supposed to be private. That's why that some of them are as crude and as schoolboy-like as they are um, between between uh, members of the cabinet and, and government. Um, I, I don't think it's going to get anywhere. I think it's just a waste of public money and during, you know, the, the hard times. very much. Paul says, I never liked Dominic Cummings, but aside from his colourful language, his analysis of the situation and the individuals concerned was bang on. I think we've spared you with news about that. He was coping with vascular dementia and he had bowel cancer. My mum was his clearer. Mum had a heart attack. Dad had to go into a care home. Dad caught COVID, ended up in hospital, never came out. And I am now seething at what I am hearing. On BBC Sounds. You often could rely on Ringo for titles. Someone said to him, you look a bit tired today. He said, yeah, I had a hard day's night. And we all went, that's great. This is the story of how the Fab Four came to be, in their own words. Look, Van Albert, let's tell them proper. Brian knocked on the door and said, you want a drum? Will you play? I said, sure. And that's how it happened. If you 